All right, so in this problem, we want to find which of the following formulas is equivalent to the one written above. Now, in order to solve this problem correctly, we really have to understand the notations and the order of operations. All right, so now this three is the factor of the product of these two parentheses, the two binomials, and we can solve in two ways. We can either multiply the two parentheses and then factor the three, or we can factor the three into one of the binomials and then multiply the two parentheses. If we factored the three into both of the parentheses, we would get the wrong answer. So let's solve by multiplying the two parentheses first, and then we will distribute the three. All right, so let's begin by foiling. And if you remember foiling, we have to take this first term here and multiply by the two terms of the second parentheses. So let's take x and multiply it by 2x, and so we get 2x squared. Now we will multiply x times negative 3, and we will get negative 3x. Now we'll move on to our second term here, and we will multiply this positive 2 by the two terms of the second parentheses. So now we have plus 4x because that's 2 times 2x, and 2 times negative 3 will give us a negative 6. Now we can take this 3 and distribute it into our parentheses, but before we do so, we will simplify this negative 3x and 4x, and that will give us a positive x. So now we have y equals 3 times 2x squared, which will give us 6x squared, and 3 times x will give us a 3x and 3 times negative 6 will give us a negative 18. So this is our simplified version, our foiled version, um, and then we distributed the 3. So this is how our equation looks like and if we look at our answers, this the option A matches our answer perfectly. Therefore A will be the right answer.